got rid of that smut place on Voltaire, would do it here. It was a change of image that brought protesters to the Old Strand Theater, a change the Ocean Beach community has been trying to foster, and a change in the bill of fare at the Strand that they view as a step backwards. We don't want your movies, they were telling the operator, talking dirty to our children. Somebody's got to take a stand. It's getting worse and worse, and it's very degrading. And I have a business here, and we're trying to clean up Ocean Beach. And this makes it worse and worse for our children here. And even family. This should be a family theater here. The protest was a family affair. Among the groups involved, the PTA, Kiwanis, other area residents joined in when they discovered what the fuss was about. It's the only theater we got here. And, you know, they used to show pretty good flicks here for two bucks, you know, a person and whatnot. But, you know, they can keep this downtown. They ain't got to move downtown down to Ocean Beach. The Strand has not showed X-rated movies before tonight, and whether or not this outcry will make any difference, well, the theater manager had no comment. He sent an usher out to talk with us. I just got here today, I don't know. An L.A. company that owns The Strand, residents said, had agreed not to show any X-rated films before one in the morning, but they started with tonight's first show. A dirty trick, said protesters. Yeah, I acknowledge that right. That's a very nice right that we have, but we also can acknowledge the fact that uh, we don't like it, you know. And that's supposed to make some sort of influence, you know. That's supposed to influence the way business runs, is the kind of um, response it gets from its citizens. This is Reed Galen, News 8.